Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I have just spent the past few minutes looking at myself in the mirror, waiting for Michael to calm down because he's basically stolen the top that I was gonna wear today. Had a brand new bodysuit. He sat on it, just sleeping happily on it. And while I was doing that, I was squeezing my face. I can't help myself. You give me like a magnified mirror and I'm like, I even if I had the clearest skin, I will find something. I will, I will 100% find something. So yeah, as always, excuse the dent in my face. Uh, I have no self-restraint and I'm a child. Hello, how you all doing? Little handshake, come on. Some of you love it. Come on, just bring it here. Also, look at these nails. Like, segue into the nails, please. Like, these are from Superdrug, they're sick. Anyway, hello, how are you all doing? Today, we are trying out Catrice Cosmetics. I am so excited about this. I picked up a bunch of their stuff a little while ago now, and I am just gonna be chucking it on my face today. I'm so excited because I tried out Catrice makeup a while ago, like, it has been a hot minute since I tried out a ton of their stuff, and most of the things I love, it's super affordable, it's pretty easy to get these days as well, you can get it on Just My Look, and then also Feel Unique, I think it is, I always get mixed up between Feel Unique and Look Fantastic, but I think it's Feel Unique, either way, everything will be linked down below, but yeah, I've had a lot of good experiences with Catrice, and I picked out some stuff that looks like right on my street, there's a lot of it, so let's put that on my face. Ooh, apple juice makes a change from uh, coffee. Apple juice, and yes, I'm drinking it straight from the bottle because this is my apple juice. So uh, yeah, with that standard chaotic intro from me at the way, let's go into the video. Actually, come back, come back, come back. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn on notifications, um, like this video. That's it. Okay, now, now we can go. Honestly, I'm obsessed with these nails. Like, ugh, they even look sick on camera. I love them. Mm. Ooh. So yeah, I have a ton of stuff to try out today. And like I said, so much of this is really, really affordable. Like, I think there was only like one or two things that was actually over 10 pounds. Everything else was way under that. Like a lot of the products were like less than four quid. So yeah, Catrice is super affordable. And I believe, I'm pretty sure the majority of their products, if not all of them are vegan. So just a heads up to all my vegans out there. The first product I'm gonna be trying out today is their Brow Fix. This is the Brow Fix Soap Stylist and it's just a standard sort of brow soap kind of situation. Let's give it a little, let's touch it together, shall we? A little caress. I'm not gonna use a setting spray that I have from Essence to do this, just cause I don't, I wanna like actually try it out on my face, but I am gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm gonna give it a couple of little sprays on there. Got this spoolie with a hair attached to it. Let's just, Ooh, sprinkle that onto the floor. And I'm just gonna use this like I would any other kind of brow soap. I feel like if I ever do this kind of brow where I use soap, it's not like my preferred method, but it's still like a good way to do fluffy brows. I just use the pear soap, like the translucent one of them. Okay, had to like go in for a little closer look then, but yeah, there's no white cast. There's nothing like that with this. There's no bits. So far, so good. Okay, I'm not actually gonna do it, but let's just like, let's brush my eyebrows up for fun. Let's just see how long they are right now. Ah, Just think it's actually not far off how I did my brows quite recently. I am kind of over the fluffy brow trend. I'm not, but I'm, I'm over the like extreme fluffy brows but literally ask me again in two weeks and I probably would have changed my mind again. Yeah, that's quite nice. I mean, it's a pretty standard brow soap, but it's given me the effect I want. It hasn't got a cast and it's pretty affordable and you've got the actual, you know, like casing as well. So you're not just carrying a casual bar of soap around with you. So yeah, I rate that. What's next? All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this primer here. This is the Grip and Last Putty Primer. It says it comes with applicator. Here is said applicator and it does just kind of look like the e.l.f. one, which I wouldn't say, oh my God, that was so satisfying. I wish, we're gonna do that together. I'm gonna, just gonna take more product than I need to. Okay, ready? Let's get really close, cause this is like, ready? I hope that was as satisfying for you as it was for me. Ugh. Oh, okay. Normally these putty primers, I've taken way too much there. Normally these putty primers, they do just kind of feel a bit more matte. This one actually feels quite hydrating. I'd say it feels a little bit more hydrating than the e.l.f. one. Uh, the Tatcha primer, it's not exactly like a putty primer, but people do tend to compare the e.l.f. one to that. Um, I would say that the Tatcha one is a lot more hydrating, but this is kind of like somewhere in the middle. And yeah, it is quite grippy, but again, in like a hydrating way. It's not like, 
It's not sticky or anything. It does just feel like I have a grip to my face. And now I'm gonna go in with the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It says it contains hyaluronic acid and it's long wearing apparently. I got this in 030 Neutral Sand. To me, I don't know, we'll see how it looks, but on the website it looked a little bit deeper than this, but um, we'll make it work with like bronzer and whatever we need to do. Yeah, it does look quite pale. So if I look like a ghost for a few seconds there, we'll fix it as we go along. Uh, but it says True Skin But Better Hydrating Foundation um, watermelon seed oil, perfectly even skin tone, natural matte finish, medium to high coverage, that's what we want to hear, um, comfortable feeling. Okay, let's see what this is like, apart from being quite pale. I mean, the undertone's not too bad, so we'll be able to do something with it. I, we always manage to make things work. Okay, so yeah, definitely too light for me, but that's fine. Like I said, we'll figure it out. I'll get like a contour stick or something in a minute or just like bronze the crap out of my face. I always like to do half my face when I do foundation reviews now because then you can just kind of see the actual coverage. And yeah, you can definitely see it's like, I would say it's like a medium, yeah, medium to full coverage to be honest. So yeah, they will bang on. And the primer, I don't know if it's like a combination of the foundation and the primer, but I'm guessing it's the primer because it's definitely like kind of grippy there, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna cause like a static reaction or something just by how much pressure I have to put on my face. So yeah, that's what it looks like on my skin, if you guys can see that there. And now I'll even myself up a little bit. People always ask me about my brushes. Let me know if you want me to do an updated brush video because I do have like a lot of favorites that I use quite regularly. This is the 3D HD Max Kabuki from Sigma and it's just, it's massive and kind of gets in the corners and I swear to God, if someone says that's what she said. <coughs> <coughs> but also that, <laughs> that is potentially what she said. But yeah, it like gets into all the crevices and just covers your face. I like these brushes actually, cause they're just, you can do everything so quickly. They look like the most stupid brushes, but actually when you use them, it's like, okay, I get it. Like I get the thought process behind this. So, now that I've done the majority of my face, and I'll bring this down a little bit onto my neck, but again, I'm gonna bronze this up in a second. It is a lot more matte than I was expecting. Like, obviously it says true skin. It says that it's hydrating. I don't know if that's down to the primer. Uh, I'll have to try this out another day without the primer and let you guys know. But it does look quite matte. Very matte, actually. Like, around the mustache area, you will know, like, Let's just focus on like my nose hairs. Actually, no, I wax my nose. So I don't really have any nose hairs right now. But the mustache area, it just, it looks a little bit dry, kind of like separated around here. So now I'm gonna go in with the concealer from the same range. So fingers crossed it's a little bit better. This is the True Skin High Cover Concealer, waterproof, hyaluronic acids, blah, 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 all the same things as the foundation, to be honest. And I have this in the shade uh, Biscuit. I don't know why I like screamed biscuit then. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Okay, let's blend this out as well. I'm just gonna press that in with my brush quickly. I feel like if you maybe have oily skin or if you tend to find that your makeup moves around on your face a lot, I feel like some of you will actually quite like this. For me though, it does just look a bit flat. And it might be because obviously I have like a white mask on my face right now from the color So it's a bit more noticeable and obvious, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like true skin um, It's just like a medium to full coverage concealer and foundation that's kind of matte And I mean you can see the coverage difference there obviously I have got a little bit of foundation covering my under eyes here But it does give you more coverage. It does brighten your under eye a bit but yeah, I think again, the coverage is all good. It's just the finish isn't necessarily for me. But I also know that some people tried out the Zara foundation that I loved and they said for oily skin, it really didn't work for them. My skin's pretty normal. Uh, I maybe have like a little bit of oiliness around my chin, but otherwise it's, it's pretty normal. So if you have normal skin, this might be a bit too matte for you. If you have oilier skin, this probably won't look that bad. But right now <laughs> I look like a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm gonna need to like get some shares and bronzer or something because yeah, we got some we got some work to do with this. Have any of you guys watched the show Inventing Anna on Netflix? It's the one based on a true story about the girl Anna Delvey. And I binge watched it and finished it. I wasn't sure if I would necessarily like it because it was quite like 
there was definitely a bit of comedy in there and it wasn't totally factual. It was like a very easy watch, but then it was also really interesting because a lot of it is like a true story, but honestly, nuts. If you haven't seen it, um, yeah, like I said, it's quite an easy watch if you can get over some of like the awkward, cringy scenes, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah, I'll give you guys a close up of my mustache again. Um, everything's fine right now, but I also have to put powder on, which scares me, so let's do that. Okay, so this again, part of the same range, which doesn't fill me with too much confidence. This is the True Skin Mineral Loose Powder Hyaluronic That was like Simlish then. Uh, hyaluronic Acid Transparent Matte. Why do I keep putting matte things on my face? No, it's happening. It's happening. It's quite smooth, but yeah, this is so matte, so I'm really not gonna take a lot of this. It's literally like a combination of everything making it very matte. I might need to just add like a bit more juice onto my face in a minute with like setting spray or something. But yeah, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna lightly dust that all over my face. I don't want too much powder on my face, so I'm just dusting it all over and then I'm gonna kind of mesh everything together in a second. I wonder how much setting powder I would have inhaled over the years. Like, I wish someone could have actually told me that. I wish there was like a metric to let me know how much I've actually inhaled over the years. Because I, I definitely do it <laughs> way more often than I should. Okay. Not as matte and as bad as I was maybe expecting it to be after seeing how matte everything was. I think if you did have oily skin, you would prefer this a lot more to me. Uh, for me, it does just look a bit more matte than I would like, but again, I'm gonna use some setting spray in a second and it might sort of even everything up. The only thing that I'm not really happy about is like around my mouth, around here, like sort of around my smile lines there. It's not even like it's falling into my smile lines. It's just, it just looks a bit dodgy, to be honest. Yeah, it just kind of gives me like a textured beard on my chin. So now I'm gonna need like this whole palette all over my face. This is the Bronzer Way to Costa Rica Baked Bronzing and Highlighting Palette. And I need to talk amongst yourselves, please, because I just need to take off the label. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, stunning. That looks so nice. I feel like this palette, I feel like this was around 10 pounds. Look how nice that is. Dude, this highlighter here. Oh my God, be still my heart. So I'm just watching everything. And this bronzer here, I do have another one to try out, but when I looked on the website, it wasn't available on Feel Unique. So you might have a little bit of trouble getting hold of it, but I do want something a bit more red tone. So I also have this uh, bronzer here. It's the SPF 20 Tan Love Body Bronzer. I think you can use it for your face as well, but it's like a face and body one. Yeah, that looks a little bit more warm tone, which I feel like is what I also need. But yeah, hello, we didn't even talk about these swatches. Obviously you've got the, the matte bronzer there, but these three highlighters and the shimmery bronzer, like I said, be still, my beating heart. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of this bronzer first. I just kind of wondered if they would have a smell or anything, they don't. But let's see what this is like. Oh, it's actually more warm tone than I thought, cool. Like I said, we need a lot of this, so I'm gonna be going pretty heavy handed with this after a while. Someone asked me the other day as well why I bronze my forehead and it's mostly to kind of make everything sort of cohesive. Even when I was like working at Bare Minerals, we were always told to do like a three shape. So that's why I kind of tend to do it in more of like a disjointed three shape, especially when I want to kind of warm my entire face up. I don't just necessarily want to have like a stripe down here. I want to kind of connect everything together. So at least instead of just being orange on my cheek, I could be orange all over my face. The bronze is applying really, really nicely. Again, I'm using quite a light hand for now, just so I can build up a bit more of a base color and so I don't look like a total clown straight away. Yeah, I wouldn't normally like bronze right across my forehead, but again, just to kind of warm myself up, I'm gonna do that. Really impressed with that packaging though. That's the thing with Catrice. Regardless of whether I'm like super in love with some of the products, the packaging and, you know, to be honest, the quality and the price of the products is insane. Like what you get for your money is insane. It's very kind of like Essence-y. I think it's like a sister company of Essence if if I like read that right once. I'm pretty sure it is, but okay. I know I'm looking a little bit wild on my forehead right now, but trust me, I have, I have a plan. It's kind of like one of those trust the process sort of things. So then I'm just going back in with my foundation brush, nothing extra on it, and I'm just gonna soften everything a little bit just by like stabbing it into my forehead basically. 
just to mesh it back down. I'm still gonna be looking a little bit too pale by the end of this, but it's, it's just what we have to deal with. I love that I just have this headband on and it's like, it's not even keeping my hair out of my face, but I'm just like, oh, better put it back on. Okay, let's try a little bit of this bronzer. I'm gonna try, try it like on my arm first. Okay, quite subtle by the looks of things, cool. Ooh, there's a lot of kickback there, but there's not a mirror there. Let's try that. I actually feel like the other one might even look a bit more warmer on the skin. Yeah, I'm gonna go like over my nose. Again, just kind of like connect everything together. But I'm now gonna go in with this little guy here and rub that all over my face. Yep. I, do I need to say anything else? Like this is just good. It's just really, really good. And you get like massive pans in this as well. Like you are not gonna run out of this anytime soon because you need the tiniest amount. Oh no, looking at this mirror. This mirror is a lot cleaner than the other mirror that I was using. This is showing me exactly what I look like right now and I wish I could unsee it. <laughs> it will probably pick up more on the macro, but yeah. I have like one big mirror here. I have a slightly smaller one here so that when I like turn to the macro camera, I can look in that one. Like it looks like I'm the vainest person in the world here. And then I also have a handheld one and the viewfinder just so I can see everything that's going on. Um, and <laughs> Thanks guys, you've all been lying to me. This guy here is like, actually, actually Steph, you actually don't look very good. And I'm like, okay, okay, thank you so much. This highlighter though looks very nice. But yeah, the base is just looking really matte and dry, makes me look kind of textured. It's not, it's not doing me too many favors right now. But yeah, this palette, Really, really love this. Like this is so nice, especially for the money as well. And the packaging's nice, it's like a cardboard sort of packaging, but it's sturdy, really like that. I'm now gonna go in with the setting spray. So this is the Shake Fix Glow Spray and I'm hoping that this does actually fix it. Like I, don't, I think it's meant fix as in like fix it to your face, but I want this to just fix all of this. Uh, Shake Fix Glow. So, okay, it's got little bits of like pearly pigment in there, if I can get it. It's like stuck at the bottom. Wake up. So you can see it's kind of like an iconic London sort of situation, which I love. I still love that setting spray so much. I always test it out on my arms first, cause like, look, if that was, can you even see that? You can't, can you? Just speckles there. If that was on my face, I would be so sad. So yeah, make sure there's a good spray there. Inhaling that as well. Oh my God, the spray's dodgy. Please, I'm like scared to look. Well, I don't know why I'm looking in that mirror, that one lies to me. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, and I'm inhaling that stuff. Oh my God, it's all going wrong. Oh no. It's a bit better for me, it's not as dry, but oh no, this isn't, this isn't good. See, it looks all right there. This is why I have the macro camera. Like the macro never lies. Whether I like it or not, the macro never lies to me. Uh, I'm gonna add a bit more because I'd rather be like shiny and oily looking personally than dry. So we're going over some more. Top tip with this stuff, don't breathe when you use it. Like, or just don't breathe for the rest of the day. Cause I'm like, <sighs> you know, SpongeBob when he gets out of the ocean and he turns like a dry sponge. That's how I feel right now. So I also got this random little thing here. Uh, I thought this could be like the Patrick Tarr um, body oil. It's called the Sunshine on My Shoulders Body Shimmering Dry Oil. And I just want to know if it smells to be honest. Oh, it does, it smells like a caramel holiday. Let's try a little bit of this. Okay, it's like literally going everywhere. Let's pop some on my arms. I have so many of these body things, but are any of you guys the same? Like I always neglect my body. I can have like the most glam makeup on and then I've just got like crusty skin on my arms and my legs. It's very subtle, but I actually kind of like that because I don't feel like I've got too much on my skin. Like it doesn't, I can't really see it, but then when the light reflects, it's definitely doing something. Um, and yeah, it smells really nice. It is quite like a dry oil, like it says. I feel like a lot of time people, like companies will say that it's a dry oil, but then you put it on and <laughs> who just thought I was about to like full on oil my boobs then. Um, <laughs> suddenly it turns into like a you porn or red tube video. I'm not okay, YouTube, please, please don't like shadow ban me even more than you already have. I promise you I'm somewhat kid friendly. 
But yeah, normally when companies say that it's like a dry oil, they're lying. But this actually is. This one is a little bit more pricey. I mean, it's still under a tenner. It's like nine pounds. Um, but I actually really, really like that. And the packaging is nice as well. I'd say it's a pretty good dupe for the Patrick Tar stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my eyes. So this is the most expensive thing that I picked up and it's the Neo Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And it's a nude eyeshadow palette, but we got some pops of color in there as well. And I just realized that I got a red lipstick. So I don't really know how this is gonna work out. Should we try the red lipstick out first? And then I'll do my eyes and if it looks absolutely bollocks with the red lip, I can just like switch it up to a nude or something. But yeah, this is the Matte Pro Ink Non-Transfer Liquid Lipstick. Apparently it lasts up to 12 hours. And I got this in the shade, this is my statement. Smells quite pleasant. All right, let's use this mirror that lies to me. Whoa, that is so pigmented and opaque, and that's like the perfect red shade. Do you know something really like, I don't need to share this with you necessarily, but, and it sounds like a weird thing to share, and now it sounds even weirder because I'm like hyping it up, but hang on, hang on. There's me like talking and I'm like, hang on. I'm really excited about tomorrow and I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I'm just excited about my morning and just getting up and just like, I don't know, like, <laughs> because obviously my brain's been playing kind of tricks on me for the past few years. I don't know, I just kind of thought to myself then, I was like, oh, I'm really excited for tomorrow, for no reason. But like, what? I'm just, that's what we call gross, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm just excited to drink my coffee, feed my cats in the morning, have my shower, tidy, like I need to tidy my house, and I'm actually looking forward to that as well. Another cat here, sprinkle on the floor. Okay, I did a little bit of clean up. Yeah, very much obsessed with this liquid lipstick. Okay, the ears are coming off. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette. And yeah, there's a lot of neutrals, but then we also have some pops of color. So I'm definitely gonna dabble in a couple of those. First of all though, I'm gonna go in with, let's go in with this shade here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in my crease, just to get a little transition on the go. And by the way, this palette has 18 different shades for less than 15 pounds. And you've got, let me do some counting here, three, Seven, eight shimmers, I think. I think we've got eight shimmers, three pops of color, and then the rest are just like nice sort of neutrals. And to be fair, there's a lot of nice neutrals here. Like if you just take away the pops of color, you kind of do have pretty much everything you, you could sort of need. I feel like if they maybe added in a black or something, that'd be cool. But there's, there's like, yeah, you literally have like everything you need there. Okay, so I know it's like a very, very subtle color, but so far that's blending out quite nicely. Before we continue with the pops of color, I'm gonna go in with, let's do a couple of swatches because I'm not gonna be able to use everything. Let's try this. Okay, it looks very foiled. That looks good. I normally like these sort of eyeshadows. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Uh, and then let's also do, I think I'm gonna mostly use these two colors here. So let's swatch this orange here. It's a little bit more dry, obviously, because it's a matte, but it still looks really good. Okay, let's do a swatch there. Yeah, they're like, when I say they're like thin in consistency, does that make sense? Because they're really, really opaque, but they do just sort of apply like a cream almost. And then the orange, which, or coral, which is actually, that actually looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty much just gonna slap one of the colors all over my lid and it's not gonna work with this lip unless it ends up being some sort of like art deco looking look. Um, ignore the lip for a minute. I'm just like living my little red lip fantasy right now. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna chuck like one of the colors kind of all over my lids. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used before just to put that brown in my crease. And I'm going in with the slightly more like mauve shades. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here because I like to kind of overlap that to really further out the blend. It's like the easiest way to get like a really subtle blend. And now I'm gonna go in with a think this purple shade here. Okay. You know what, to be honest, I now wanna kinda of take that pink, cause I'm just so intrigued. I'm gonna take the pink as well on the other side of the brush. I mean, considering I didn't use a wet base or anything, I'm, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Well, does this kinda of work? I actually don't hate the purpley pink eye with the red lip. I, I wouldn't necessarily wear it, but I actually don't mind it. I would say one thing is the two colors, like the pink and the purple, they don't look too different once they're actually on the lid. Um, 
but you know, it's like, you know, they do a bit, but like if you're blending them together, it, it doesn't look that different next to each other. Okay, yeah, these shimmers look bomb. I like, what are these swatches that I'm doing right now? I'm to pull some like sweet poses. These shimmers look stunning. I'm gonna take this one here, just again on a little shader brush, and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. Ooh, you're very nice. And let's try maybe this one, it might be too dark. No, that looks pretty perfect to me. It's like a pinky, pinky shimmer. So let's try that on the inner corner. And if I don't like it, I'll just add loads of other highlighter. Oh my God. Yeah, the shimmers are sick. I will say though, I do have some fallout on my under eye. I think we can get away with it, but yeah, just be wary. Let's take like this brown shade here and I'm putting that on a little shader brush again. I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty into this palette to be honest. Again, affordable, nice selection of colors. It's like you got your everyday, but if you wanna mix things up a little bit, you can. I really do quite like that. I'm still like, choking on that setting powder. So last but hopefully not least, before I go and do my other eye off camera, I'm gonna try this mascara here called the Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara. And it's got this like fun packaging and it's a plastic wand, which is always great. Oh, it's like gripping my lashes really nicely. That's always a good sign with me. Oh, this is good. It's not too wet either. Don't. It's just like, it gives me enough clump, enough spideriness, yeah, this is a nice mascara. I'm noticing as I'm doing two coats, it could start to look a little bit too dry and spidery, but if you're just doing the one coat, it's kind of all you need anyway. It's, yeah, it's curling everything. It looks good. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the other off camera. I might go and add a little bit of blush and stuff as well, just because I feel like my face, again, especially compared to like, my body, it's not the right color and I don't know, I just need a little bit more color in my face. So I'm gonna probably do that as well. And then I'll chip back with you guys and show you the final look. I might even keep the red lip. I might. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, guys, so this is a finished look and I did decide to keep on the red lip for now. I am gonna be changing my makeup in a second or just like taking it all off because I'm not really loving this base and I do have to head out in a second and it is like an accountant's meeting. So I, I don't quite know how I feel about going in and being like, hello. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be taking it off, but I will maybe try out some of the other products with like my other usual routine. Maybe I'll try it without the putty primer and stuff and I'll let you guys know how I get on with that. But yeah, I figured I would just keep the red lip on for now because I love the red lip so much. And also it's just kind of fun to do the colors and stuff. So let me know what you think. Let's talk about some of my favorites. I really, really love this face palette. This isn't the palette, this is the sleeve, but I really like the eyeshadow palette. Love the liquid lipstick. I quite like the mascara. Uh, what else was there? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of all of like the face products, but I did also really like the dry oil. Thought that was really, really nice as well. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on any of the products. And if there's anything else you guys want me to try it from Catrice or any other brand, to be honest, I'm still literally choking on this setting spray. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and let me know what other brands you guys want me to try out or other products or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And if you haven't already, please hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified every time I upload, which is pretty often these days. Uh, so hopefully you're not sticking my face. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.